Hey guys! In today's video, I'm reviewing Muji Stationery and giving some alternatives. First up is the gel ink pen in the 0.38mm size. The ink is very smooth and consistent, and there's no railroading. I'll be mentioning railroading a lot in this video, so to explain, it's when the ink looks like it's missing from the center of the line because the ball in the tip of the pen pushes all of the ink to the side. And this is mainly a concern in larger tip sizes. For the gel ink pens, I'm not a huge fan of the body, because there's a pointy indent part right at the spot where I hold my pen. Even when I force myself to hold the pen differently, it's not comfortable for long periods of use, because it's a perfect cylinder and it has no grip on it. The ink on these pens also dries quite slowly, so it's not the best if you want to highlight immediately after writing. Next are the same line of pens, this time in the 0.5 size, and I got more colors of this one. Again, this size is smooth and consistent, and for the colors, I'm very impressed with the light colors. As a general rule, light colors are harder to formulate in a smooth way. They definitely are less smooth than the dark colors, but still decent. Except for the rose pink, I don't recommend that one. <laughs> Again, I have an issue with the body of the pen, and these dry even slower than the 0.38 because they're thicker, so there's more ink. The 0.7 size of this pen, again, is very smooth and consistent. They get smoother as the tip size increases. I'm very impressed with how resistant this one is to railroading, especially compared to the average 0.7mm size pen. Since it is the thickest, it dries the slowest. All of these gel ink pens are very similar in texture to the Uniball Signo line, especially the Uniball Signo DX pens. Next up is their correction tape, which works very well. It lays down the tape completely smoothly, so you don't have to do that thing where you press the tape back down again. It also comes with a cap if you're into that. It is good quality, but all correction tape does pretty much the same thing. The Office Max ones work pretty well for a much cheaper price. This is the Low Center of Gravity Mechanical Pencil, and it's in 05 millimeters. This pencil is weighted in the grip area, so it's easier to write quickly. It has a very long needle tip, which is great for precise graphing or sketching. The cap also allows you to indicate the lead grade that's inside the pen, from B, HB, all the way up through 3H. It has a solid build quality. I'm not a huge fan of this type of grip, but that's just my personal preference. This pencil is exactly the same as the Pentel Graph Gear 500. It looks exactly the same, and they're both high quality, weighted drafting pencils. Next is the plastic eraser, which I got in white small. The texture and the overall erasing ability reminds me a lot of the Tombow non-PVC. It erases better than cheap pink erasers, but it still doesn't erase completely, and it doesn't erase very quickly either. You can get much better erasers for the price, like the Sakura Foam for a slightly higher price, or the Stadler Mars Plastic and Pentel High Polymer, which are more accessible. Another one of their mechanical pencils is the Acrylic Mechanical Pencil, and it's an exact copy of the Zebra Airfit. This isn't advertised by Muji, but basically the grip is a pocket of air for more comfort and it keeps your hand from getting warm and sweaty. I would not recommend this pencil, it starts to feel more loose as you use it more. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but basically the quality is just not there. The grip is comfortable, but not worth the bad quality. These are the Smooth Writing Gel Pens, and I believe they only come in 0.5mm. These are literally the exact same as the Zebra Sarasa pens. The parts are even interchangeable, and they look especially like the Zebra Sarasa Study Edition. They're about the same price, so I'd pick whichever one is better priced or more available wherever you are. As the name implies, these are smooth. The black one is a little bit scratchy, maybe I got a dud, because the rest are very smooth. The situation with the lighter colors is similar to the gel ink pens I showed earlier in the video, and the rose pink is still a dud. 
One color that wasn't in the gel ink version is the yellow and it's amazing. I highly recommend it. These pens are more susceptible to railroading than the gel ink ones, but there is still pretty much no railroading when you're writing at a normal speed. Their loose leaf paper and pretty much all of their paper products are incredible. The paper is really good quality. It's very smooth, making it suitable for brush lettering, and there's not much show through. It's definitely comparable to more expensive paper, and it's the best paper in this price range. Nothing cheaper or at about the same price really compares to this. Do keep in mind that the Japanese sizes do not fit in standard American binders. But Muji does make high quality binders as well. Another paper product that I love from Muji are their notebooks. I'm pretty sure the paper is the same as the loose leaf. Based on my testing, the quality is the same. Again, definitely the best quality in this price and it only really compares to higher priced papers. For the notebook specifically, it has a combination of stitch and glue binding. They seem very sturdily bound with no loose stitches and it lays flat well. Lastly, the clear tip double-ended highlighter. I have one in yellow. These have a clear tip to see the text that you're highlighting. The ink is pretty much the same as a standard highlighter as far as the colors, the smudging, and how smooth they are. There's not much bleed through even on cheap binder paper. These are double-sided. The marker tip is a bit scratchy, but it does its job. An alternative is the Sharpie clear tip highlighters if you just want the window feature, and the Unipropis window are pretty much an exact duplicate. I'm also giving away a lot of the items shown in this video. I'll be picking two winners, and there are two sets as you can see on screen right now. For more information, check out the description. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you'd like any links, check out the description box. I upload new videos every Monday and Friday, and I post daily on my Tumblr and Instagram, which are also linked in the description. See you next time!